Hi everybody, it's me Joe and in this short video I'm going to tell you another funny story and I'm going to give you questions that will be good for listening practice. Okay? So, but before I do that I want to remind you to click the subscribe button and hit the little bell that's down below so that when I uh, upload a new video, which I do two or three times a week, you will know. All right? So now, here are the questions that you can preview before I tell you the story. Okay, here are the questions that I want you to listen carefully for while I'm telling the story. Number one, where does this story take place? That means where does it happen? Number two, who walked in? So it happens in some place and somebody walks in. Who walked in? Number three, what does the barber think the boy is? So there's a, two of the characters. The barber thinks something about the boy. What does the barber think the boy is? Number four, how much money did the boy take? So the boy takes some money. How much did the boy take? And question number five, why doesn't the boy take more money? Okay. That's the important question because it's about the funny part at the end. All right? So now let's go on to the story. Okay, this story takes place in a barber shop. If you don't know, that's a place where a lot of men or boys usually get their hair cut. It's not as fancy as hairdressers. It's usually where men or old guys get their hair cut. So... A young boy walks into a barber shop, and he has a really confused look on his face. He looks a little stupid, a little dumb. And the barber kind of chuckles, and he, he whispers to the person who's in his barber chair. He's cutting somebody's hair, and he says, Hey, this kid is the stupidest kid in the world. Watch this, and I'll prove it. Then... The barber walks over to the, his cash, his cash register and takes out some money. He takes out a dollar bill. So that's a paper money, one dollar bill. And then he takes out two quarters, two quarters, which is equal to half a dollar. And then he goes over to the young boy and he says, Hey, you can have one of these. Which one do you want? He's holding the dollar in one hand and he's holding 50 cents, half a dollar, in the other hand. So the dollar's worth more. And he asks the boy, you can have one of these, which one do you want? And the boy looks at both of them and then he takes the two quarters and goes out the door. And the barber's laughing. And he says, ha ha, what did I tell you? That kid, he does that at least once a week. He doesn't even know the value of money. He's so dumb. So the guy gets his hair cut, he gets it finished, and he leaves the barbershop. And he's, he's walking out of the barbershop. He sees the little boy across the street. And the, the little boy is walking out of an ice cream shop. So the customer, the man, says, Hey, little guy, can I ask you a question? And the little boy walks across the street, still licking his ice cream. And when he comes up to me, he says, Hi, sir, uh, what, what's your question? And the man says, The barber just offered you a dollar, and he offered you 50 cents, which is half a dollar. Don't you know the value of money? And he said, Sure I do. And the customer said, well, why would you accept the 50 cents? Why not take the more money, the, the dollar? And the boy smiles and he said, the day I take that dollar is the day that 
that barber is going to stop playing this look how dumb this kid is game. He does it once or twice a week. He tries to prove how dumb I am. And every time I take the 50 cents. And then I go across the street and I buy myself some ice cream. But it wasn't my money. It's the barber's money. So he buys me ice cream every week. All right. Did you get it? So that boy is not so stupid after all, is he? Now, remember the questions that I wanted you to listen to before? All right. Now I'm going to show you the answers. Okay. Now here are the answers to the questions. Number one, where does this story take place? In a barber shop. Number two, who walked in? A boy. Number three, what does the barber think the boy is? The barber thinks that the boy is the dumbest boy in the world. Number four, how much money did the boy take? Just 50 cents. He was offered a dollar or 50 cents and he took the, the lesser amount, 50 cents. And why doesn't the boy take more money? He's offered this uh, every week. Why doesn't he take more money? He wants to keep getting money every week. So he just pretends to be dumb. And the barber is actually the really dumb one. Okay? <laughs> All right. I hope you liked it. All right. I hope you got all those answers. Now, for an extra special bonus, here's another Hollywood Movie Minute with Hollywood Joe. We got you now, Dominic Tintoretto Tortorelli. I don't know your name, but we got you. All right. Harpoons away. Stretch them out. Hold him. Okay. Do you mean like back up so he can't move around because the harpoon cables will be really tight? I can do that. I can totally do that. But hey, there's just a thought. Why don't we all drive closer and just drive up so he can't push it? We'll, like, we'll surround him and he can't move instead of this harpoon business. Anybody? Hey, we got them all harpooned up here. Why don't we just shoot out his tires? And he can't drive away. Why am I the only one with good ideas? Can somebody tell me that? He's got 
gotta have about 2,000 horsepower in that thing. Try 3,000. Try five. Yeah, probably five. Just like my Corolla, right guys? Huh? Yeah. Get out of there. I'm working on it. Stop working on it and do it. Oh no! Somehow he backed up and he's gonna flip over my entire car! This is really bad! Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, Fluffy Bunny fell! Ah, oh, my walkie-talkie fell! This is terrible! My life is not good right now!